Hey, what's up everyone? How's it going? This is Waj. Hope you guys are all doing well. And in this video, we're going to be talking about some of the best budget gaming mice that are out there. Now, a couple of months back, we did a video on the best uh, ultimate gaming mice that you can get, and there was no specific budget. Over here, we're more on of a limited budget, and we want to get the best gaming mice for the dollar. So basically, if you're on a little bit of a budget, don't want to spend $100 or even $50 on your gaming mouse, this is a perfect video for you. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Now the first thing that we're going to take a look at is the Rocket Lua Tri Gaming Mouse. This mouse has been around for a number of years and it's very popular amongst many people that don't want to spend a lot of money for a couple of different reasons. Firstly, it has an excellent optical R2 sensor that has a range between 250 up to 2000 DPI. Now a 2000 DPI isn't that high and uh, could limit some of you guys out there, but for most FPS uh, gamers out there, this is uh, definitely doable. It has a great uh, full ambidextrous v-shaped design so it's perfect for both left and right-handed users the build and design is quite solid not a lot to complain about in terms of ergonomics you can use the mouse in a couple of different ways it's great for a claw grip or even a hybrid grip and the side grips are also very grippy and they also feature a non-sweat coating so it's perfect for a long gaming sessions especially for uh, people that have sweaty hands like myself now just some of the uh, basic criticisms that i have with this mouse is that the cable is a not a braided it's a regular rubberized finish which can get caught on to certain things but if you place it right it's not that big of an issue in terms of freedom of movement and the last thing that there's not really a lot of customization buttons there's no real side buttons for forward and back functions you really only have a left right uh, click as well as a dpi a button and a scroll wheel with all that said if you're looking for something that's truly ambidextrous for especially left-handed gamers uh, on a kind of a budget definitely check this thing out now the next mouse on our list is the Vixing wired 6400 uh, programmable laser gaming mouse now basically for under $20 this is ideal for somebody that likes a high DPI mouse uh, 6400 is pretty much the max that I would personally use so this makes a lot of sense for uh, budget gamers now there's definitely a lot of great features on this gaming mouse firstly I know a lot of people don't like uh, laser uh, sensors especially for gaming but this is uh, definitely something that tracks very well based on my testing it's up there with most of the optical gaming sensors you're going to find on most mainstream gaming mice you have some excellent lighting options you actually have five programmable colors uh, for the led lighting it's not rgb but you can basically go from red blue green yellow and purple so definitely some great customization options especially at this price point it's very comfortable as well you can use it in all sorts of different gaming styles and different grips and and with the rubberized texture on the sides and the soft touch feel, it's definitely very uh, ergonomically friendly for most people's hands uh, from big to small. Additionally, you also have six uh, fully programmable buttons for different macro options, including the forward and back side buttons, which are very accessible and very easy to use. Now moving on, we're going to talk about a more compact uh, gaming solution, especially for uh, people that like to game on the go on a laptop, don't want a large heavy mouse to lug around with them. A great option would be uh, checking out the Cooler Master X Hornet 2. This is a mouse specifically designed for a primarily a claw grip or a hybrid grip uh, depending upon your personal style if you have smaller hands you can probably palm the mouse pretty easily but again it's a more compact and lightweight solution it's actually built really well a lot of rubberized materials all around the mouse and the sides are very grippy and uh, makes it very easy to kind of flick around uh, the led uh, lighting options are pretty cool as well you can switch between three different colors based on the dpi indicator presets and in terms of the uh, optical sensor it's using the Avago 3320 and that can go up to 3500 dpi which is excellent for playing fps games on the go and the lift distance is actually quite uh, minimal as well just at uh, three millimeter the sensor is really good and accurate in terms of tracking in terms of most scenarios and you have several programmable buttons so uh, even though this is a compact form factor mouse it certainly provides all the uh, benefits and advantages that you're going to find on a full size uh, regular gaming mice but just in a smaller more compact package that comes with a fairly 
fairly aggressive price tag. Now winding down our list, uh, the Logitech G300S is uh, definitely a favorite amongst many people out there. It's been around for many, many years and it's extremely durable and uh, the overall design is very simplistic. It is a symmetrical design so you can use it for gaming with either the left or right hand and you have uh, plenty of customization buttons. The sensor is uh, rated uh, from uh, 250 all the way up to 2500 DPI and of course in terms of its tracking capabilities with like most Logitech gaming mice it tracks very smoothly and accurately and you're never going to really have any problems in terms of moving really fast and having issues with uh, losing uh, your overall precision or confidence in your gaming experience. Now the last budget oriented gaming mouse that we're going to take a look at is the Aller Lee M910BU4000. This mouse is specifically designed for ergonomics. It's, it's to be as comfortable as possible and uh, as you can see the mouse uh, contours to your hand perfectly. The design is quite large and it has a very high arch top to uh, make sure that the hand is a ideal comfortable position especially for long term use and at the rear portion of the mouse you can see that there's a plastic extension piece which acts as a wrist slash palm rest which is specifically designed to reduce strain and fatigue from uh, both the wrist and your fingers. Now the DPI uh, goes all the way up to 4000 which is uh, perfectly reasonable for uh, most uh, gamers out there. Now in terms of the tracking capabilities the sensor on this thing isn't the absolute best gaming sensor that I've tested. There's certainly uh, ones that are more accurate and a little bit more consistent in terms of precision but it's not too bad. Again uh, for uh, basically a gaming mouse that also doubles as a general use mouse this is uh, something that's more in line with comfort rather than performance but I think it balances both those two aspects pretty well especially because this thing retails for under $20 and you even have uh, modifications in terms of weight you have three sets of uh, different weights where you can adjust uh, the mouse ergonomics and uh, the weight to whatever your heart's content and you can even take off that uh, wrist uh, rest if you don't want it uh, for whatever reason. Now on top of those things you also have nine programmable buttons for different macro capabilities and I'm really big fan of uh, the button placement. Everything is placed uh, right where you can reach it uh, and even if you have smaller size hands you're probably not going to have any complaints in terms of comfort and long-term use. But really on that guys, that's really it. Now we have a whole series going on right now of the best uh, PC gaming peripherals and we'll have a, a link in the description for all of those different videos and we'll also have a playlist on the channel. Uh, definitely check out the description for detailed information about all of the gaming mice we've talked about. And if there's one that you think should have been on this list that wasn't, definitely let us know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks again for your support and we'll see you later. Take care.